guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rainbow Episode 7 of Jack Girls. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Seriously? <laughs> Let me guess, house kitchen? Mm-hmm. How accurate is this going to be, though? I mean... <laughs> I can't... What the hell is it? Same. She's going to fail her finals, isn't she? And then she's not going to be able to participate. This girl just said she never felt. Mm hmm. That, that's about to change, babe. That is so. <laughs> oh my god. They're like, yeah, I've never failed a test in my life. Mm hmm. What if, oh my god, what if we still didn't even have a study date yet? I need that today. I need that. I mean, especially after last week. And they finally are sending me to say, oh my god, I don't need it. Give it to me. Exactly. You need to take fault for it because you didn't study. That means no practicing. <laughs> well, 
Yeah. Rin? Mm -mm. Study. No, study. Study. I mean, that's something that you just have to ask for yourself. There's also a reason why she doesn't really talk about it, want to talk about it essentially. So maybe by the end of this episode, she may want to talk about it. <laughs> well, you know, people change their minds. Baby. How long does it take to make up an exam? Like what, thirty minutes? Thank God. Congratulations. Oh. 
Oh my God, she's tired herself out so much. Mm-mm. Look how tired she is. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. She's sick, isn't she? I mean, come on now. She's worked herself to the bone. Mm-mm, don't be funny. Just get better. I honestly thought she was going to kiss her, but no. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Girlfriend, I can't. Thank you. Are you gonna feed it to her? Hmm? How crazy you are. It's like middle school. Yeah, middle school. And let me guess, you two were doing it on television as well?
Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you should go check it out. Oh my god. Mm. 
break up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so cute, I can't. You know, once <laughs> Rin sleeps in her own bed and she's gonna be like, oh my god, like my bed smells like Misa and Misa's gonna be like, yep, my bed smells like Rin. And they're both just gonna be so happy, like how Misa sleeping in Rin's bed and the fact that she was like like this and she was kind of smelling it and then she kinda got like a flashback of her. <laughs> it's so, it's so cute. Oh my god. What the heck? I mean, it was sweet for Misa to take care of Ren and then everybody else to come in and just be like, oh, hey, like, let's just do something to make her feel better and everything. But oh my god, that was so fucking adorable. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I honestly really don't know what else to say about the episode, but it was just good. You gotta feel bad for her, though, because, I mean, pushing yourself, yes, it's good, but you have to know your limits. And because of the fact that Rin wanted to get a perfect score and then also have time to train, she used literally all of her strength on studying, and she probably had, like, maybe 0.5% left just to train and, like, going on a run, just smack the crap out of her and just she just died okay oh okay hold on if we're going like a, well i mean okay hold on this episode because <laughs> The guy who came in at the wrong time and saying that they had an adult boot. <laughs> we all know that wasn't serious, but the way that preview looked and the way Misa was like, they're in, like, uh, if we're going the way I think we're going, like, yes, oh my god, finally, like, mm. I mean, I've been shipping these two idiots since episode one. <laughs> and if we're finally, if we're going into next week where they're finally going to confess their love to each other, like, yes. I mean, just don't be like, <laughs> don't be like, yeah, let's go ahead and get married now. Uh, uh, no. mm -mm -mm. Just tell each other you love each other. You want to be in a relationship with each other. And then the butter, 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 that's it. Wait until a couple of years to do everything else. But like, they just look so fucking cute together. And oh my God, make it happen, please. Because everybody who possibly watches this show, I can't be for sure for like a lot of people, but a couple of us, including my, including me. I'll really just ship these two, and they just look so cute together, and I'm just like, come on. You've been on, like, several dates together, even though, yes, not every single one of your dates was the best, because somebody or someone ended up ruining it, but they just, like, no matter what, they try again, and even with the fact it's like, I mean... When Ren <laughs> told me that she would make a good mom, 
I was like, in my mind, I took out mom and I put girlfriend. Because <laughs> I'm like, see, just, that just tells you that they belong together. I mean, I can't. I love these two so freaking much. And I just want them to be together by the end of this damn series. That's all. Just do that for me. That's the only thing that you have to do. Let them, well, no, two. Let them win. And then let them, get them a trophy and everything. And then let them be together. Let them be a couple and go on dates and stuff. Some really good dates. Like, I don't want them to have, like, I mean, well, last week's date wasn't that bad. It was so good, but they had some bad moments. But still, let them go on, like, a bazillion dates and then be happy and be merry and then go live, like, in a small town or something. Not in a metropolitan area, because I feel like one of them would want to live in a metropolitan, and then the other one would want to live, like, in a small town, aka Rin, maybe. <laughs> but probably it would be Misa, because she probably gets tired of the city. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episode 7 of Jet Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day for the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys for y'all next Tuesday for episode 8. Bye, guys! Thank you.